So we have a solar flare incoming here. And exactly that happened. That the first flare set this room on fire here. But since it's already in the vacuum, it should very quickly. Um, douse, there you go. It's already out. The robots don't care if there is a vacuum or not. Now that, let's see here. So I know I'm gonna get out here before the next flare. I'm just gonna close the the doors preemptively. And now we're gonna jump. Since I already have his uh, weapons down to a certain extent, I uh, just won't waste any more small bombs. Just no point. So now that the fight is over, I'll take another stock here, who is hurt and not, and make sure that Everybody is healed that needs to be healed before the next jump. So now I've been seriously boarded. I got four mantas here on the ship, and that is, even with my anti personnel drone, almost impossible uh, to deal with. Even if you have a crew like this, that the cycling in and out is just going to be a pain. So I'm just going to go full bore on. Open all the doors and let the vacuum in and then force them to come all in here. Now one consideration you want to give, um, if, if you plan on having a teleport uh, room and, and try to uh, later on board, you want to make sure that the people that you w want to fill that role get the kills because they obviously gain experience to this. Luckily, I don't have to fight um, a ship, so even if they hurt my shields, I'll take that and deal with it. Easy dealt with for Mantis boarding my ship. Alright, so I think I just received my last crew member that I can. And in one of my previous videos, I already said that I'd like to have these guys 
be my away team and fight and fire if possible. So the problem I have is that one of the guys I actually used as my weapons guy, but I'll take that penalty and I'll move somebody else there uh, because they're way too valuable as the away team. Another thing is, try not to have more than one person per room. Um, there's some exceptions to that, but you always want one missile just to damage one crew member. No reason to bunch them up. Now let's see what that store holds for us. We got plenty of cash. Or scrap. Ooh. This one I love. So I would definitely want that. And I can afford the crew teleport as well. So what will happen now is when I jump into a system, my weapons will actually be fully charged. And I'll get the first salvo right then and there. And I got my teleporter for my away team. So I'm gonna move them there. Manage a little bit of my power. And we're good to go. Now, again, remember, we want to use as many hops in the system before we hit the exit as possible because we want to make extra cash before we make the jump to a more difficult scenario. So. Uh, I hope that if I jump here and here, I can still make that jump here, so. So, here you have it. My weapons are already fully charged. Just don't forget to turn them on before you make the jump, otherwise they're not charged. Um, and now I'm having it simplified because I still have the two shields. And from what I can tell, he only has two shots. I probably won't even waste the bomb and I'm going to give my away crew to the chance to get some experience. Now the drone makes a little bit of a difference because these will take down my shields. So right off the bat, I'm good to, I'm great, great start. They also don't have a med bay, so I'm actually gonna probably stop after this next salvo uh, and just try to finish them off with uh, just my crew. Actually, I'm not even gonna fire again and I have to watch my super weapon. Mistaken, he probably just has one guy left. Nice, no, two guys still. Here we go. Great. Even another weapon, good scrap. Perfect. As you can see, I made those two jumps and I'm lucky. Uh, I got my direct line, so I'm gonna make my last jump. And you saw I'm, I'm cutting it close again before I get out of the system. 
Now, in some cases, I would even make that jump and go back. Um, let's just, for the heck of it, let's do it. So I'm even taking an extra risk, uh, but I'll definitely get uh, the chance to find something more cool. But in this case, it was a waste. So now I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Again, it's just a, such a huge advantage of uh, getting the first shot. So here's one of those perfect scenarios. The room is on fire. Uh, they're going to have a real hard time to fight me. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put an ion bomb in here. Disable their health. Yeah, I'm actually gonna fight them in their mid bay. Perfect. Now the reason why I did that is I knew he was low and my guys could get the experience and lo and behold um, he actually advanced to the next level. So I just went to the new system and this is one of those things that when you jump into a regular system that has these nebulous again, I might have mentioned it in my, one of my previous videos, but um, I always try to hit those because they give me extra jumps because the jump distance of or the following distance of um, the people that the rebels that try to catch up with you is going to be much smaller. So this gives me the chance of hitting more systems. So this was one of those 50-50 chances. Um, I actually lost a Mantis crew member um, searching the, the wreckage. So I'm not too terribly sad about that. I got almost a full compliment, so I'm good. This is another one of those scenarios that you have to kind of weigh. I've, if I can, if, and if the price is reasonable, I usually hire a mercenary to delay the rebels. Again, it gives me more stops in the system. I can hit more stars, and usually just one extra star should offset this. But he will delay him, I think, at least for two. Let's see. They're not even in the system yet, so it's hard to see. So, But it's usually not a bad option. So what I'll actually do now is I'm going to go first down here and make a loop, and then... I'll try to hit these before I jump out. So just in the next system after I hired the delay, I got 48. So I mean I'm already in the plus and I haven't even made it taken advantage of all the, the benefits yet of the delay. <laughs> so this is a little bit further on and just because I had the delay purchased here and I had these nebulas 
my actual course was over here. I did a loop. I went all the way over here, as you see. I hit these star points, and I um, basically won't jump away from the outside, so it's definitely what you want to do. <clears throat> Alright, this is the end of the game. Yeah, so, and um, this will be basically fighting the final ship and basically I got everything on the ship that I ever wanted except cloaking but uh, this should be a fairly easy fight let's see like to take down their missiles right away. I usually do that with the away team. I need to pay attention to that for my guys out in time. Pretty much everything. Next out, I don't even know what to spend money on anymore.
Alright, let's be the last jump. Hope you enjoyed this. You have a good day.